Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to episode 10, episode 10 already amazing, of the Neil Robertson Pro Career Mode on Snooker 19. Today we start a new tournament, the first round of the World Ranking Tournament, the Indian Open. This is going to be a best of five frames tournament again, uh, a six round a thriller, I think it will be. It will be six rounds to get to the final. There's 64 players who have qualified for this event, uh, and we are playing against Scott Donaldson in this first one. Now, if you didn't watch yesterday's episode, I completely recommend you go and do that. Obviously, you'll know we are out of the Shanghai Masters, but we did go 2 0 up against Sean Murphy, and they managed to lose 3 2. So that was an absolute das disaster in the end, and we have done that a few times now. I mean, we lost to Kyron Wilson 3 0. To be 2-0 up against Sean Murphy was quite a good achievement, but we should have really uh, finished that off and got into the quarterfinals. But that's all for finish now. The Shanghai Masters not being a ranking event, so it doesn't matter too much in terms of uh, competitiveness throughout the year, although it would have been fantastic to get a trophy. Uh, but as I say, we've had a few too many games where we've uh, lost 3-2 after being 2-0 up. But in terms of we've now we've played 10 matches, and uh, we've won 6 and lost 4. I'm trying to think how it's episode 10 if we've played 10 matches. I can't think. It must be episode 10, because that, that's it was episode 9 that uh, was released yesterday. So it's got to be episode 10. I don't understand how we played 10 matches. No, I don't. I, it's very weird. I'll check this is episode 10, because if it's episode 11, I'll sound like a bit of a fool. But uh, anyway, let's get on with this Indian Open match against Scott Donaldson. Now, one of the new one of the debutants to the uh, the Crucible this year for the World Championship, playing against Kyron Wilson. I watched a bit of that match yesterday. It's too badly, to be honest. Kyron Wilson, uh, the better player. To be honest, uh, but um, no, it, it, well, I think Kyron Wilson probably. But I'm just going to check that this is episode ten. Um, I just don't quite get how we've played ten games. Yeah, this is episode ten, definitely. I'm just checking on my iPad. It is definitely episode ten. So I can't understand how we've already played ten games. That's really confused me. We did, I don't think we played two in one episode, did we? No, I don't think we did. Anyway, you'll have to let me know down in the comments. But of course, with a new event, it becomes a new venue. Again, a massive range of venues in this game, which is fantastic. And the Indian Open is one that is included as well. So hopefully, it's going to be a bit of an easier affair than our last two matches against Kyron and Sean. But of course, we're not going to underestimate Scott Donaldson here. As I said before... Uh, watching his real-life performance at the Crucible the other day. Well, yesterday, actually. I am recording this a day early. Uh, but uh, watching his Crucible performance yesterday, you know, he was pretty good. Uh, it wasn't bad at all, so he's definitely one to w watch out for here. But we're first to break off in the first frame. Again, it's best of five, as I said earlier. And that's not a too bad break. Just the one ball uh, that went slightly towards the cushion. Let's see what uh, Scott Donaldson does from here. Oh, is he going for the pot or is he just going for the safety on this red? Looks like he's going for the pot. And he's missed it. Well, that's disappointing. But unfortunately for us, he doesn't leave it on, which is a bit gutting. But, uh, oh dear, what a bad start that could have been from Scott Donaldson. I, I, I might have taken a chance, but uh, a little bit worrying there. We're going to try this pot. If he doesn't go, we get a little bit of safety, but it's there. That's a good start for us. He's got to be disappointed to be missing that red because he knows that we're a top-ranked uh, rank, top ranked player. Eighth in the rankings, so there's going to be some sort of challenge. But... Uh, it's uh, not the easiest of positions to be in. We're not particularly on anything massively, so the green it is for this shot. And the green's there. And we've just about... Yeah, I think we'll... Oh, that was a nice kiss on the blue, because that's put decent position on that red. Again, it's a bit of a tricky red to get to, but we've got there nonetheless. Play a little bit of screw back and try and get on the black. Oh, good pot. Just gravity taking over there. As you can see, it's... Uh, Bounced on the jaw a few times, but luckily we're okay. Now, the black's a tricky one, it seems. No, we've just about missed it. Again, gravity gravity not uh, taking part twice in our favour. But luckily, we haven't left anything on. It's just going to be a safety. Again, it was a few pots to get us started, get us warmed up. Of course, it's my first match in the Indian Open, so good way to get warmed up. And uh, that's not a bad safety from Scott there. No, we just have to play a safety shot as well. Again, so it doesn't hurt. Let's play a bit of safety. Uh, we might go play safe on this red, actually. Yeah, it seems sensible, doesn't it? Rather than massively open up the pack, just uh, move that one red. And back up to bulk. And that kiss on the green just slows the cue ball down a little bit and makes it a lot closer to the top, uh, the bottom cushion. So, good stuff. Still get me top and bottom cushions mixed up a little bit. But we have snookered him here. Got a bit lucky. I think just that kiss on the green really helped. So I'm not sure at all what he's done there. Because he has really opened things up now. No but oh well. Points, but he's left 
I'm not going to complain. Here. Just going to try and pot this red, and hopefully the black doesn't look too bad from there. Good pot. Again, the, well, not in the best position for the black, but hopefully a uh, tight one will go. He's looking to pop this into the left corner pocket. Well, opportunity not taken, possibly picked the wrong red. Yeah, we possibly did pick the wrong red, but uh, of course, big opportunity now for Scott. He's going to play a bit of a safety here because uh, luckily for us, there weren't really many reds on. Uh, but uh, yeah, it could have been a big opportunity really from Scott for Scott there, but alas, I don't think anything's been left on unless this red goes. Let's have a look. Hmm... Definitely goes, but it needs to be in the uh, second half of the pocket, away from the red. So just got to take that into account. It's a tricky one to go for. It's a very ambitious shot, but if it does go, it'll pay dividends. No, it's not gone. And oh, where's this cue ball going? Don't hit it at the black. And those are two mistakes we've made really from the start. And that's not really good enough because again, against a better player, they'd be really taking advantage. Now I'm not saying that Scott won't because he might well do, but. Not a very good start from us. He's gone for the green, and he's missed it. Well, that's a really poor shot from Scott Donaldson there. You do wonder why he didn't go for the black. I mean, admittedly, he's not left anything easy, apart from this uh, red, which luckily he's on. But a very peculiar set of shots there from both players, really. Scott not playing very well. We're not playing brilliantly, admittedly. But, uh, you know, it's just a bit of getting into it sort of thing. The black's, I think, off the cards. Pink, of course, will go into the middle, which is always nice. But it was Scott who really separated the reds, and we want to make sure he's punished for that at the end of the frame, at the end of the day. We don't want him to get away with it, because that'll be gutting, but let's have a look what we're on here. Certainly are on a red, which is fine. And hopefully, from here, we can start to build the break and take the first frame. Again, it's the best of five, so... As long as we win three of those, we will go through. Eight. But a quick start is important. Again, I know that in two matches so far, I think against McLeod and against uh, Sean, of course, Sean Murphy, the last episode, we have Rude going ahead because it seems we've lost momentum. Oh, well. Ooh. Just a bit too hard there. Should never have really played that at that sort of pace. Again, I say plenty of times I don't seem to listen to myself that uh, unless you have to play with pace, don't bother because... We've made three mistakes now, and really, Scott Donald should be, should be wiser to this. Eight. Probably just teething problems after not playing this career mode for a few days, but you have to say it's a little bit disappointing. But if he doesn't make another mistake, well, he deserves the frame because we've played quite poorly so far. 16. But it's not a foregone conclusion that he will win this frame. Again, still very tight. He's going for that red into the middle. Is it going to go? Yes, well, it will. Getting perhaps a little bit lucky there, you could argue. Going for the pink, though. That's the shot I would go for. And it's right in the heart of the pocket. Good pot. And as long as he stays on these reds and the big colours, this, this first frame will be his. And really, we need to cut out the mistakes in the next few frames. We might well get another chance. Who knows? But uh, disappointing so far, to say the least. Good pot. And he's keeping well on the black, actually, with that red being there. But uh, he's gone for the pink this time. I don't quite think the black went. But of course he's on this red which does block the black now. And if he gets this well, this will be in brilliant position on the black. Yep, yeah, another red gone. It's a good break to start off and give Scott Donaldson com uh, confidence and put us into a little bit of fear, really. You know, we, we, we're, <laughs> we're certainly uh, long in the tough with memories. Oh, that was close. We obviously remember yesterday and we lost to Sean Murphy 3-2 and... Really want to get off to a good start here rather than have to fight back. But that looks like it's going to have to be like it is. Now he's missed that red. So he can still get in the frame. But of course he doesn't leave anything easy on. And if you look it's 39 behind we are. With 43 remaining. Now that red will definitely go. Can't get to the one on the cushion I don't think. Well can we? Yeah we can. That's fine then. I don't particularly like these shots. I'm not a big fan. We're going to have to go for it nonetheless, but... No, it's me stand. That is pretty much the frame for Scott Donaldson. Again, I'm not fantastic at those shots. We had to go for the pot just in the case we might have potted it. But another red, and uh, that is the frame for Scott. 
And the black will definitely confirm it now. He's played well this first frame, Scott Donaldson. It'd be a real uh, coup for him to try and knock us out here in this first round. If we went out here, you'd have to question some things. You'd have to say, well, this is a bit disappointing, isn't it? But he snookered us, so being 47 behind with 35 remaining, no point playing on. There's no shame in conceding there. And after a very scrappy first frame and a poor one, we're going to have to just go straight to the second one. Forget that ever happened and just get on with it here. Donaldson to break though now. Hopefully we do get a bit of a uh, look in here. Again, if he goes 2 up, we'll have to do what Sean Murphy did to us yesterday. And it's always that fear that being 1-0 down, if you make one mistake, you could let him in for the two-frame lead. But we're not going to lose our scruples. We're going to play exactly the shots we probably would play before. And that includes this red. And it's there. Good part of the start of the match. And luckily, we have got position on the pink. It's pretty straight as well. And it's there. Good pot. No mucking about there. We've got position on a red, but we might as well screw back at this point. Hopefully get nicely on the blue. But that was a good red, by the way. Not brilliantly on the blue, it has to be said. So it might be a case of, of yellow here. Because those blues into the top or the middle are a little bit dubious. So you guys know that I'm quite happy playing the, the lower colours if it means we stay on the table. And particularly being one frame back, we didn't really need that kiss on the brown. Saying that, though, it gives us uh, position on this red that's uh, to the uh, the right corner pocket as we look at it. The left now, but, uh, yeah. But no, I'd rather stay on the table with a lower colour than give the opponent a chance, I always think. But that's a good pot. And hopefully we can build up a bit of a break now. Good position on the blue, it seems, we're going to be here. Or equally, the brown. That might be an idea. No, I don't really want to risk it, to be honest. Equally, though, the blue's a bit of a tricky one. It's not conclusive. So I'm going to be boring here and play a green. I know you might say, well, be a bit aggressive. But to be honest, is there really much point? We're one frame down. We need to bring that back. And uh, at the end of the day, that's what we need to do. Not really why we wanted this. If the pink hadn't have been there, it wouldn't have been so much of a problem. But this could be end of break. Well... It's going to have to be this red, and I'm not a fan of these shots. I've said this before. Well, disappointing there. We had to play the green because I wasn't sure about the blue or the brown. That's really been our downfall. And now Scott Donaldson definitely has a chance of going 2 up. I don't know what's happened to us so far today. Just haven't got our mojo. And you have to say we haven't in previous matches. We're on a two-match losing streak. You know, we went through a good set of matches. Beat Mark King. Um, you know, in effect, nearly beat Sean Murphy. We had the measure of him at the start of the match. But uh, ever since that battering by Kyron Wilson, I don't think we've been the same player. And Scott Donaldson definitely giving us for a run for our money here. And that rap red's going to go straight into the heart of the pocket. No problem with that. Of course, he still needs a lot more reds to get this frame. But he proved in the previous frame that he can stay on the big colours and get the and get the reds to go with them. This is a bit of a worrying sign because if we lose this, of course, we need the next three frames. But a bit of a safety shot there from Scott. So does he let us in with a poor safety? I don't think he does. He might have even snookered us here. Hang on. There's a little route through to this red. And that red definitely goes. Well, well. If this red went, what a fantastic pot it would be. And it serves a bit of a shot to nothing as well. He could have let us in here. Oh, And that red's just going to travel up the table. Ah! Well, sometimes you just can't have the luck. You have to play some aggressive shots sometimes. Or else you just live in wonder, would it have gone in? But he takes the, he takes the pot in the end. He takes the reward. And uh, this is worrying times for us. But he's snookered himself here, so... A little bit fortunate to get out of that. But again... You know, he's, he's playing some good safety here. 
really is. I don't fancy that pox. It's it's not one I fancy, but the one I am going to go for, it could be a risk. It provides a bit of a shot to nothing, I suppose. Provides a bit of a safety as well. Uh, is this red? That's the way you do it, right into the heart of the pocket. And this could be arguably us back in the frame because we could go for the long black here. One. And it's certainly not a massive risk. Of course, the, the score's still very similar. And the black's dropped. Lovely. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Ah, it's gone too far. It's gone too far. I think. Yeah. We could play a plant here. But my planting skills are, well, not exactly uh, a green fingers person, put it that way. A green thumb, even. No, green, f I don't know, I don't know. Green fingers, is that what they call them? I'm going to go for this plant. I'm rubbish at them, but uh, we're going to go for it nonetheless. And just hope we get lucky. No. Just off the blooming edge of the pocket. I mean, it was going the right way. We've kept the cue ball safe to an extent. There's a long pot on still. But we've put it as safe as possible up in the bulk. And he's going for the safety here, I think. He knows he's got the up hand. He knows he's ahead. There's no point in playing any stupid, stupid shot to give us a bit of confidence and let us back in. Although that red that is there is one that I fancy. So we're going to go for it. But again, the age-old saying, no need to play with pace if you don't need to. And that's a good shot. And sometimes the position just works out for you. That black's not badly placed. It's not, is it? No. I think if we look at position for the next, we need this black. And it's there. Possibly a little bit... Well, in fact, a lot harder than I thought this would go. Should just play with a backspin there just to control the cue ball. But poor control in the end. We could play this one across the cushion. But uh, luckily we've left this one. Certainly not easy. But it's there. Nine. Again, a little bit lacking on position. Our positional play definitely needs to improve. But if we can take this blue, which again, it's not the easiest. If we can take this blue, we should be okay. Of course, we are ahead of Scott now, so we've got the up hand in this frame, technically. Go on, it's nice and soft. It's got every chance. And it's there. Good pot. We have left this red on, have we? No, we haven't actually. The black, the, the pink's there, so that's a little bit of a worry. So we're going to have to go for this red along the cushion. Again, nice and soft. Taking on the pot along the cushion. And it's there. What a magnificent pot that is. He couldn't have played now, I think the pink's there. out of commission here. Uh, it's not actually. We've got a bit lucky with that. Got to make sure we pot it though, all the same. The Looks fine to me. And it's there. Wow, that little kiss on the blue might prove pivotal. Luckily though, this red should still be on. We're getting a little bit lucky with our positional shots at the moment. Good pot. That's well played with the rest. Unfortunately though, the black is really out of commission at the moment. Gonna play this green, just because we know we can get it, and then come back down the table. He's looking to pop this into the right corner, right in the heart of the pocket. No now, if this pulls up, this could be a good positional shot. Not bad at all. Twenty-five. Could go for either red here, but it's gonna be this one we choose. Well, we've got three reds actually left on the table. Didn't realise that. But not a bad break to get ourselves back into the frame after we feared, oh no, we could be losing this one. 26. But still work to do yet. Now, we're going to try this tricky pink. Unless the yellow's on, it's not now. So, we're going to try the tricky pink. Or do we? No, it's a very tight brown. Uh, green goes, I suppose. So, now we might as well just go for the pink. Again, the equally dubious pot, so we might as well try this pink. And if he, we look, miss this and he wins the frame from here, well, we've only got ourselves to blame. 
It's got the right line. And it's there. Good pop. David Endon seems to like that. And this is us getting into our mojo. This is how we can play if we were let in. That's a good red. Possibly a little bit hard there on position. So what are we on here? It's a tricky brown. I don't... Mm, do I fancy that brown? I mean, it's not going to get us any position on the red. But providing we get... Well, actually, well, we need a colour and a red. Uh, yeah, we need the colour and the red, technically. That brown does look possible. We've got to get it exactly right. It's just a risk. So I think we're going to take the colour just to take that opportunity from me off the, off the table. One, but a half chance. And it's there, right in the heart of the pocket. Now, from this angle, we can go for this red. It just means that if we pot it, frame's over. But if we don't pot it, then he has to put everything else on the table for him to win the frame. Which makes things a bit trickier. And it's not there. But are we safe? We've got it right back up the ball cushion. And this makes it a very tricky shot for him. In fact, I think we might have even snooker him with the brown. That's not the result he's looking for at all. So he's 29 behind, 35 remaining. Now we can just get to this red. And he's missed the pot. But possibly he's going for safety here. And has he snookered us now? Well, we can just get through to the red. And in fact, it's a much easier pot than it was before. Not going for a safety, pal. Right in the heart of the pocket. Where's the cue ball? We're fine. Just need the colour, and that's the frame. Might as well go for the pink, just to make sure the numbers are bang on. Oh, we've missed it. But does it matter? I mean, he... Well... He could get back into this frame with a snooker, but uh, I don't think he will. Neil yeah, I think the points is correct. Yeah, 30 behind. He's going for this. I mean, the point system's still, again, a bit dubious. Ooh, cue ball's in. Well, we're going to force him to continue. Hopefully, he concedes from this point. He's going to go for the pot or the safety. He's trying to snooker us here. But it's failed on that attempt. Give it to get this a good whack. That's an excellent safety. Pace is key here. Here we go. This cut might not be bad. If it plays up behind the pink. Go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Well. Cracker. He's playing the safety shot here. Oh, can he just get there? Oh, we can just get there, but where's the cue ball? Oh, he's got lucky again. Well, just get the yellow away. And even if, even if you get to the pots now, it doesn't matter. We're just going to play along for a bit though, because I think we can get out of any snooker that he he puts in. But I might be wrong. But he's missed that. We need to really get the probably get the yellow, and then it's definitely frame over. Tricky one in it looks. Is it going to be there? And it's there. Good pot. Might as well take the green just to secure it. I mean, I know it's already secured, but again, it doesn't hurt. Good pot. And then we'll just put it up to the brown, and that should be the frame. And whew, that takes a bit of uh, stuffing out of us, that did. He should concede from here. Again, there's no point in carrying on. But uh, it's all square now. That makes things interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, he does concede. It's one each. Of course, we need two out of the next three frames. But uh, it's our break this time. And I reckon if we can win this next frame, that the uh, favor the favourite is now us, which would be good. But a uh, bit dubious from both players so far, really. We've not played as well as we could do. That's a brilliant break-off. If I say so myself. This looks to be a pretty simple it's going to try and play this red. Just the safety on it, though. And, well... He's not done badly there, to be fair to him. I was going, well, I don't know about that. But this is a bit of a shot to nothing, isn't it? He needs to be careful of not overhitting this. Now, the red's nowhere near the pocket, but it's fine. 
because the bulk colours will provide a bit of a stoppage to get in there. And those reds both now on the top cushion. So, again, needs a safety here. Let's see what his safety plays like. We've been pretty good so far. Just open up the reds a bit there and let's see what position we can get, if any. We could play that one along the cushion, but I think we'll leave it to him. He's probably going to be the braver player. And he'll have to be the braver player. Back up the table. If this kiss the yellow, it's not going to be great. But we might be all right. Yeah, actually, it doesn't do too badly. But it does open up a few reds. But it's a particularly long pot. Bottom to well, top of the table, basically. But you can chance. do it, definitely. Well, he's missed that one. No, well, ouch. Miss, That's going to be a big kick in the teeth for him. And now we have a chance. Might as well play this nice and soft. Into the left middle. And that's the first pot on the table of the frame. Can we get a good break going here? Our best break is 80-odd. We might have even made that in the Indian Open qualifier. I can't really remember now. Good pot on the blue. Might have gone a little bit too long on position with this, uh, this red here. No, we're okay, actually. I know we don't need to play with pace, but when it's as straight as pot as this, we might as well try and get some of the balls moving. And actually, we're not badly on the black, funnily enough. Black's there. And we've started well in this frame. Mm, position a little bit dubious. Will that red go? No, that red won't go. But will this red in the middle go here? Oh, well, that red will go just, I think. Ooh. Makes things tricky, but we're going to try it. Oh, dear. I should have played a bit more safe there. The reds are in a good position. We should have just played a little bit more with regards to being safe. But he might miss this. No, nothing of the kind. He's straight on it. Very impressive. But he's played a safety on the black. And a bit of a bizarre shot there. We can play a safety on our own here. I mean, I say we can, but it's not the easiest because we have got that red up in bulk that could make things a little bit awkward. Let's see, though. Well, he might be snookered on that red. I can't quite uh, tell. No, he can't get to that one, but he can certainly get to this one. His long potting's not been great so far, and that just adds to it. Really poor long potting skills. I know that pot is there, but uh, this one seems sensible. Just to uh, make sure we don't have any in-offs or any mistakes like that. This is really tricky. It's a tricky pot. But we've made it. It's a good pot, that was. Now the green's possible, into the middle possibly. Bit of a tight one, but should be fine. Play a bit of a side, don't want to get uh, this cue ball into the pocket. He just wants to ensure he gets this cue ball tight to the cushion. Oh, Christ. Oh, dear. Really poor shot there. It was a tricky one. But we have played our fair share of poor shots today. Really not our best. He went for the snooker and it well, really worked out. We haven't got we really didn't go for the snooker, honestly. We went to try and put the green in the blooming pocket. That was poor. That was silly. But he's missed the brown. Scott Donaldson Well, can't quite get over that. Been a bit of a bonkers frame so far. Bonkers match really. Some big mistakes from both players to let the other in. But uh, we've still got the upper hand here, of course. He's only potted two reds. We'll take the black, though. Oh, my God. I thought this isn't going to go. But it did. Eight. Now let's try and take this red. I always think with the reds on the pocket, so if you've got a ball close to the pocket, leave it until you need it. Because sometimes you don't need them. Sometimes you can play over shots, and sometimes... You want them just as an insurance option. Okay, it's a bit of a risk because if the other player gets in and they can use the position that you've made, fair enough. But 
I, I, you know, I don't particularly worry about that. Now, there's no, I, to be honest, there's no shot that really will give us position here on a red. So, we're just going to have to suck it up, play the green. And, uh, yeah, play a bit of a safety here. A bit casual there. He'll be annoyed with that. And we've left more than adequate room to play a safety. Well, will it be safe? That's the question. Unless we play up behind that. I mean, we could play a plant on these two. Stuff it. Let's go for it. There we go. <laughs> sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And sometimes, and that worked brilliantly that time. So we'll take that. Now is the blue on the table. It certainly is. And seeing we played a risky shot last time, I'd rather play with a little bit less risk this time. However, this could put us well into the uh, well into the reds. Just want to make sure that uh, we don't play with too much side, but we want to play with a lot of backspin. We want to get this ball in there. It's the most well, important thing. Half a chance. There. That's a really good split. We have moved the reds about. Again, not brilliant on position, but we tried to negotiate something there. Oh, this red doesn't quite go. That's a bit disappointing. So it needs to be a fine cut on this one, or just all. Ah, uh, well. Hmm. Could play a double potentially. Don't fancy that though. Not today. Not today. Hmm. Take a bit of time to work out what we're going to do here. Play for a bit of a shot to nothing, perhaps. Oh, Red's there. What a pot. <laughs> Again, when you don't expect to get them, you just do it. It's a very weird system. Very weird mindset with snooker. I don't know if it's like that in real life, because honestly, I've never played in real life. Uh, but, um, you know, on the game, it's kind of like, well, you might as well just go for it. You know, it's the worst thing that can happen if it didn't go in. Yeah, it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Definitely. It's there, though. And that provides brilliant position on a red. We're playing a lot better in this frame. That's encouraging. And Scott Donaldson, to be honest, hasn't had a look in so far. And that's what we need to make sure we do. Keep him off the table. Don't know why these reds have all got a bit of a like circle underneath them today. Might be a bit of a glitch, I'm not really sure. Might be the table, perhaps. Or, well, not the table, but the venue. I don't really know. Uh, that pink might go, but a little bit dubious. So, In fact, let's just play it. Yeah, because it will go. No just real problem with that. As you can see from that angle. And it has dropped. Now. <laughs> Unfortunately, that doesn't quite go. So it's going to be a safety. We'll just play this up to the red. Oh well, that didn't go perfectly. Which to oh well, that red's a good spot, but he's not potted it. Maybe could have gone for safety there. I mean, he he has got safe, luckily for him. But uh, again, bit of a shot to nothing from us here. And it's in. Good shot. Could even take the two reds here, but no, that's fine. I'm happy with that one being up bulk. Gives us a bit of uh, pressure knocked off of this next shot, just to know we can get up to bulk and play that. Now, we might as well play this with some side and just get into this these three reds. I want to get right to the middle of them, ideally. Yeah, we will do. Probably not that hard, because I can never get to the 100% marker. Where's the cue ball? Oh, you tool. You absolute tool. I should have known that. Getting too aggressive for my own good. I mean, we've got a good cushion here, 40 points, but there are still four reds on the table. So a good amount of points. And he'll pop that one. Again, we made the position. And he'll pop that one. Not brilliantly on a big colour. That gives us a little bit of satisfaction. And he'll take the yellow here. But not brilliantly on a red, I have to say. He can just about get to that one. He should count his lucky stars. And that's his first good long pot so far of the game, I have to say. He's still in this frame, but I think we should be okay. He's going to be thinking for quite a while, though, here. What do I play? Blue, interesting. Okay. Not really let himself on with any of the balls. Although, he's getting very lucky a position, I'd have to say, here. I'd have played the pink screw back and gone on that very red into the opposite pocket. Now, he's gone for the blue, and that's a fantastic shot. Could Scott Donaldson be back in it here? Not playing with the hole. He might well 
become a little bit wise. Apply this red, then apply the black. Red's going to be there, and he will apply the black now, so he'll be 17, but oh well, he's applied the pink, and goodness knows what he did there, this is going to be, oh my, oh, 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 well, dearie me, skipped that a little bit too hastily there, didn't I? But uh, he's, well, we only need the yellow actually. Go on, go, 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 it's in the pocket, and that's the frame for us. Bit of an anticlimax in the end, he didn't get the colour, so he was 24 behind with 27 remaining. And now he's 26 behind. We have 25 left on the table. This is no it's a tricky pot this is, so, but we might as well go for it. No, overcompensated it. there. Where's the cue ball? We're fine. And if this keeps rolling, it doesn't keep rolling, so we don't get a snoop on him, which is a shame. But he will probably play on here. Again, it'd be stupid to concede at this point. Has he got the snooker? No, not quite. Tricky shot here. So there, good green. If we get the brown, again, he'll probably concede from there. Not an easy one, but a half chance. Brown's there. And again, we might as well take the blue. See where we are on the pink. Not going to be anywhere brilliant, I can guarantee, but uh, oh well. Actually, that's not too bad at all. That'll do on the pink. Perfect. Quite a big uh, score gap, though, in this frame, you have to be said. Really, we got going in this frame, unlike the last two. And uh, after losing the first frame, we are two on ahead. Not bothered about this black, but if it goes to bonus, no, we've overcompensated there. But it doesn't really matter. We take the lead in this match 2-1, and now we just need one more frame. One of the frames out of the next two for the victory. And that is the frame. Well played. Probably put a little bit too much pressure on ourselves here with losing the first frame, but I suppose it's woke us up a little bit. You know, if we'd have... A little bit like the Sean Murphy match, really. We were in, we were pretty much home and dry 2-0 up. We were thinking, well, we don't need one out of the next three. But all of a sudden, we thought, right, we need to get into this because we could seriously be out. But no, we've done well. He needs to be wary of underhitting this. Play off the two cushions, hence why we need a little bit more pace to get it back up to bulk. But that's pretty much perfect. Don't think we've quite snookered in there. We're sort of half ball on the yellow. I might be wrong. We might have snooked him, but now he can get there. What's his safety play like now? Certainly does uh, move some of the reds. Where's the cue ball? Oof, well. Again, he's got a little bit lucky here. Yeah, not too bad at all, was it? Well. Fair play to him. Too much. Too much there. Way too much. We'd have played that soft, that would have been a cracking safety, but now Scott Donaldson's in, and it's just going to have to be a case of us sitting in the chair for a bit. He'll be disappointed with that. He's aiming for the left corner here. Oh, well. We get up after uh, 10 seconds there. Not even that. And uh, after thinking, well, we've uh, missed an opportunity and he's in, he's really not. And that's fortunate because we're nicely on the black. But he's going to be gutted with that. He will hate this if we go on to win the frame from here. He will hate it. Not the best shot. No, not the best positionally. Really not. I've got to see where this pink is in terms of whether it stops the red from going. It does. That's disappointing. Now, if this red goes... Could be a serious chance, but we do risk with this shot that we do go into the uh, the pack, and we have. Although the effects aren't too bad. I mean, he'll get a red here, possibly a colour, but he won't get a century break, for example. That would be ridiculous from this position, although I'd be impressed if he could. Kudos to him if he could from there, but that's his first part of the frame. Should get this black. So there, we have given him a little bit of a look in, perhaps, and perhaps... You could argue a little bit silly to give him a look in there, just for the case of a bit of a stupid shot. Brilliant shot. Be very happy with the but oh well, 
again, still plenty to go in this frame. Still plenty of points. And he's gone for the green and he's missed it. Well, Scott poor shot. But once again, because of how the reds are positioned, there's no easy shot here in terms of a pot. So, safety required here. Which is a little bit gutting for us. It's always nice when uh, the player misses and there's a nice pot on to get your kick started with a break. But uh, on that occasion, there were, wasn't, unfortunately. He's got the cue ball in a great position. Safety here, I think. But it's just giving the balls a whack, and I can't really get that. I cannot understand that at all. And that kiss on the blue is deadly for him. Not going to be happy with that whatsoever. Don't look what pots to play here. Nothing easy. Bear in mind that this uh, red depends on the other position of the ball. So just have a quick check of... Uh, Actually, the other, the other angle is probably the best to see whether it goes. Ooh. That's nasty, isn't it? Really nasty. When we when we go for that sort of shot, I feel we'd like we're trying to overcompensate a bit. So, this red might be the best shot to play. And it's there. Good shot there. Good awareness of the table. One. Again, I'm pretty sure if we'd applied that, it would probably uh, come back to haunt us. But even if had it gone, you know, it's it's worth playing a shot that you know and you're confident will go in. You know, they're, they're a rarity on this game. Shots that you know will go in. They are seriously a rarity. We have a lot of shots on this game. Probably 99% of shots. There is a little bit of uh, uncertainty, which is cracking, really. That's a good red. Now can we get a bit of a break going here? Would be great, wouldn't it? Inclined to play the blue here, you know. Yeah, I fancy this. It was my gut instinct, so why not? And the gut just always seems to work out for you. I mean, okay, it's back up bulk now, but... Let's see how everything's positioned, but... There we go, the gut's always right. Perfectly on a red. No more than half a chance here. If we can stay on the table, we're going to be through to the next round, the second round, the last 32. Yeah, that's right, the last 32 11. of this championship. Well, I haven't left anything easy on here. We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. Don't bother putting the pressure on. We are a prolific long potter, but there we go. That's just, that's proof we are. That's quite nice. Good pot on the bloom. Those were shots at the start of Snooker 19 that I just couldn't make at all. But now they're uh, not being cocky and saying, well, they're easy. But they're not because they're not easy. Uh, but they are good shots to play. Again, ones that I tend to play just for a bit of safety, really, because sometimes you're not on the big colours down the table. And those bulk colours are there to help sometimes. Probably play my snooker a little bit different to other people. And perhaps my snooker on this game and other games might have been made different by the fact I've never played in real life. So, you know, I'm probably more adept to try new styles, that sort of thing. You know, things that perhaps wouldn't work in real life. Like that long blue, that's a pot I tend to usually play. But I know I've heard from several sources that just wouldn't work in real life. So, but we can play it on the game. So I'm fine with that. And again, that's nicely on the blue. Getting a good break going here. Again, it's 23. It's nothing to go, oh my god, look at this break. But uh, on this game, in these best of five matches, sometimes you just don't need the biggest breaks, particularly against a player against Scott Donaldson. I know I'm not, not taking the mick or saying that he's a bad player, but at the same time, he's not a world beater. And I haven't seen a century on this game so far, so that's telling, you know, you... The AI probably may be aren't as good as they are in real life. Possibly you could argue that. But in a best of five, you know, winning three frames, it's arguable that it's pretty minimal, really, the chance that in a five-frame match you're going to make a century, you know, especially multiple in a match, unless your opponent's completely rubbish. And I don't think we are completely rubbish. I don't remember that any, any of our opponents have won a frame in one visit before, anyway. This is a bit of a tricky pop. Keeps on the table if we get it. It's there. Unfortunately, it's that pink and black still out of commission. If we can move that red that's on the cushion by it, then 
that those pots seem to become a little bit less of a problem. But as you can see, that pink definitely doesn't go at the moment. Wouldn't want to try it anyway. There's no point taking the risk, is there? Playing with Screwback seems to be a godsend at the moment. Another blue will take here. Possibly a little bit too much. To be perfectly on that red we were going for. But that's okay. Another red here. And the frame starts to look good. And the match, of course. Equally, if we can hit these black... Oh, the black and pink, that should be fine. But, you know, equally, that would have been a good shot. And a good positional shot. But because the red's there, it's not great. So, yellow is going to be the shot we play here. A lot of power, a lot of pace. Just get it back down the table. That's a good shot. Now, if you uh, pull up now, maybe. Again, this makes this a very tricky cut. But we could, uh, one of these, maybe one, maybe one of these two reds in the middle could go to the middle of the of the tail. That just makes no sense. One of these reds could go to the middle. Oh, it doesn't. Well, it doesn't go to the middle. So. After playing that yellow, it's a very tricky cut here. Shot depends on perfect pace. You'll be conscious of not no, the nowhere near. But that was a decent break of 30 odd. I think it was 39 the break, maybe even 41. But uh, he's 39 behind with 59 remaining. Of course, he can get back into this frame. But he needs to pop most of these reds. And once he's got this one, the other three reds are in quite difficult positions. And particularly because he hasn't got the pink or the black in commission at the moment. That does decrease the amount of uh, points you can get in a break. But he'll try this red. Fair play to him. And he's got it. Well. Oh, that'll be unfortunate if it goes. It. Oh, that was close. Just about to say, after making that cracking pot and having the vision to make that pot, it'd be really unfortunate that that red went astray. But, ooh, this is a bit of a tricky one. Just wants to sink this into it will go. And he's sunk it well. He's sunk that fantastically. And possibly Scott Donaldson could get back into this. Playing that yellow might come to our, you know, might come to be uh, a problem. And the losing factor. Needs this red though, ideally. And it's there. So he's probably going to play the blue here, I would guess. Yeah. So the blue's there. So that means he is how many behind? 16 behind with 27 to play for. He is in this frame. And the yellow's there. So that's 14 behind with 25 left. Could he clear up here? I didn't, I didn't think he could. 11 with 22 left. This should be easy enough. This will be 7 with 18 to go. Good pot. Well, it might well come down to the black. Two behind with 13 to play for here. And that's a fantastic positional shot. He's going to come back into this. Oh, he's missed the pink. Oh, that is gutting. And that, ladies and gents, is going to be Scott Donaldson out of the Indian Open. I thought he's going to do this. He's going to get the pink and he'll get the black. But we've got the black. That is unfortunate. Really unfortunate for Scott there. Have to feel for him. Because he'd really played the other shots really well. But not worried about the black. Of course, you can only score off it once. But we were eight points ahead anyway. So unless we had a foul, there would not be a problem. But Scott Donaldson really fought there till the last. But we got a little bit lucky. He missed the pink, and uh, we've won the frame. We've won the game with one frame to spare. Good match. Highest break of 52, getting the most points there, as you can see. And now into the second round of the Indian Open. So who have we got next? Let's have a look and find out, shall we? In the last 52, that was a good match. That was. Again, Scott playing quite well, but uh, a first win for us in three. That's very encouraging. Again, I've said this multiple times now, but tournament trees would really hype up the atmosphere when it comes to these matches but we have got Yan Bing Tao in the second round no mug ranked 20 seconds so again it's not going to be an easy match but hopefully we can get through it of course we're down to 32 in this tournament now but see if we win against Yan Bing Tao we will go to the last 16 so tomorrow's episode will be of course that match against Yan Bing Tao that's uh, best of five match so I hope you guys will stick around for that. Make sure to subscribe and put notifications on to find out when that video is going to come out. And, of course, be notified when it comes out. Leave a like if you enjoyed as well. And comment below, down below. But until tomorrow, folks, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.